is off at Thursday Night Football, the Baltimore Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals. This was a phenomenal game. The Bengals just outperformed the Ravens on both the offense and defensive side of the ball. Especially the defense. The Bengals' defense is no joke this year. They are really good. Flacco had a decent game. 32 for 55. Um, 55 attempts for Flacco. That's crazy to think in itself. 376 yards, 2 touchdowns, and 2 picks. Then Alex Collins, the running back, 9 carries for 35 yards. Javorius Allen only getting 8 yards in a rushing touchdown. Then, of course, the receiving stats are going to be good for everybody since Flacco had 55 attempts. Andy Dalton, 24 for 42, 265 yards, 4 touchdowns, no interceptions. Dalton is a beast <laughs> in this game. I just don't know why the Bengals are so good this year. You had Joe Mixon getting 21 carries for 84 yards. And then Giovanni Bernard, 6 carries, 27 yards, 4 receptions for 15 yards. Tyler Boyd had a great game, getting 6 receptions, 91 yards, and a touchdown. Then A.J. Green doing his thing, 5 receptions, 69 yards, and 3 touchdowns. And then let's look at the defense. The Cincinnati defense had 4 sacks and caused 3 turnovers. Just insane. And the Ravens' defense didn't really do too much. They played okay. Um, I'll give them that. The Bengals' offense was just clicking. And the Ravens have a pretty good defense. They tried their best. They did okay, like I said. But the Bengals' defense just killing them. Jesse Bates, the rookie, getting a, an interception and dropping another interception. Almost having two. And then we have... Tony McRae with a forced fumble. And then we have my favorite player, Sean Williams, the safety. Six tackles, a forced fumble, a sack, and an interception. Crazy game by him. Sam, Hump Sam Hubbard, the rookie, getting a sack. And then Geno Atkins getting two sacks. Great game played by the Bengals. And the Bengals did win... 34 to 23. Bills. This game went as I expected. The Chargers went in a halftime with a 28 to 6 lead. Then they just played clock management the whole second half. <clears throat> Ended up winning 31 to 20. And they did sit Nathan Peterman and started rookie Josh Allen in this game. Philip Rivers had, he threw 23 for 27, 256 yards, 3 touchdowns, and no picks. He had a phenomenal game. Melvin Gordon playing pretty good. 9 carries for 28 yards and a touchdown, 6 receptions, 38 yards, and 2 touchdowns. Backup running back Austin Eckler playing really good. Keenan Allen doing his thing. Um, then we go to the Bills offense. Here we have Josh Allen, 245 yards, one touchdown, two picks, and he got sacked five times. This Bills offensive line is horrible. He even had to, he even had eight carries for 32 yards. LaShawn well, McCoy had a decent game. Chris Ivory had an okay game, getting two carries, seven yards, a touchdown. And then one reception for 30 yards. And then nothing really else that really highlights this Bills offense. Kelvin Benjamin, I guess, two receptions, 19 yards, and a touchdown. And then let's go to the defense. The Chargers defense playing amazing, like usual. Jatavis Brown with a sack. Melvin Ingram with one and a half. Derwin James with one. Uchenna Nwosu with one. And Damian Square with half a sack. This defense is just phenomenal. And you had Kaiser White with an interception and Adrian Phillips with an interception. And Derwin James also had seven tackles in this game. 
in the Bills defense, things didn't really go their way. Um, they played okay, but again, you're playing the Chargers, who are a really good team. Lorenzo Alexander had a sack. Jerry Hughes had a sack. And then Jordan Poyer had a forced fumble. Also, a notable one, rookie Tremaine Edmonds getting six tackles in this one. This was a really good game. The Falcons controlled the game the whole time, eventually having a 24 to 10 lead. But then the Panthers scored 14 points in the fourth quarter, and the Falcons did end up winning 31 to 24. And Cam Newton did have to leave this game earlier. Or no, no, he didn't have to leave, but he got a cheap shot, and I thought he was going to have to leave earlier, but he toughed it out. And he played really good. 32 for 45, 335 yards, 3 touchdowns and a pick. Then Christian McCaffrey, just, I don't even know, 8 carries, 37 yards, 14 receptions for 102 yards. Little receiver out there. <laughs> then you got Jarius Wright. Jarius Wright really playing good in my opinion. 5 receptions, 62 yards and a touchdown. Torrey Smith playing really good. And the Falcons. Matt Ryan doing his thing. 23 for 28. 272 yards. Two touchdowns and a pick. And he also had four carries, 18 yards, and two rushing touchdowns. That's something you don't see from Matt Ryan. And he even got clobbered in the end zone on one of those touchdowns. Tevin Coleman, 16 carries for 107 yards. Ito Smith, 9 carries for 46 yards. Kelvin Ridley, one carry for three yards, and then four receptions for 64 yards and a touchdown. Julio Jones doing his thing. Austin Hooper getting 59 yards and a touchdown. And then let's look at the defensive side of the ball, where Dante Jackson had a forced fumble for the Panthers, and Kawan Short had a forced fumble. And then an interception for Dante Jackson as well. Luke Keekley had eight tackles. Julius Peppers out there getting a tackle. Still as an old man getting it. That's awesome to see. James Bradbury with five. Then we have Ricardo Allen with five tackles and an interception. Devondre Campbell with eight tackles. Takaris McKinley with a sack. Brian Poole with a sack. And, wow, look at this. Brandon, oh no, never mind. That's offensive players. But yeah, really good game here. And, of course, the Falcons win it 31 to 24. And the Cowboys pulled out a win 20 to 13. And the Dallas defense played amazing. They got six sacks and it forced a turnover. And their offense still kind of struggling out there. Um, they, their offense needs to really pick it up here if they want to be a playoff contender. Eli Manning, 33 for 44, 279 yards and a touchdown. Saquon Barkley with 11 carries for 28 yards, 14 receptions for 80 yards. Then we had... Evan Ingram getting 7 receptions, 67 yards, and a touchdown. Now let's go look at the Cowboys. Dak Prescott playing okay, 16 for 25, 160 yards, 1 touchdown, no picks, 7 carries for 45 yards. Ezekiel Elliott, 17 carries, 78 yards, and a touchdown. Tavon Austin, their new addition at wideout, 1 one, one carry for 15 yards, two receptions for 79 yards, and a touchdown. That is a playmaker they needed on the offensive side of the ball. Now for defense. Don't really have much for the Giants. Um, Landon Collins played good, getting five tackles. Alec Ogletree getting six. And Janoris Jenkins getting five tackles. But other than that, then let's just go to the Cowboys defense. Chidobi Awuzi getting eight tackles. Taco Charlton getting a sack and a fumble recovery. 
Tyrone Crawford getting a sack. Kavon Fraser getting a sack. Demarcus Lawrence getting a sack. Then, of course, we have Damian Wilson getting a sack and Antoine Woods getting a sack. Oh, yeah, and Damian Wilson also had the forced fumble. Leighton Vander Esch, the rookie, getting seven tackles. Jalen Smith, the young linebacker, getting seven tackles. This de this Cowboys defense just played amazing. Broncos pulled out, pulled out the win, 20-19. to This was a pretty okay game. Um, the Broncos making a fourth quarter comeback, scoring ten points in the fourth. Pretty exciting there at the end. But let's look at the defenses. Oakland had a sack, and Denver only having a sack. And Oakland forcing a turnover. I did expect Denver's defense to play a little better in sacks and turnovers, but they did stop them. On third down conversions, Oakland only went 3 for 10. But that kind of goes towards the offense as well, Oakland's offense. Derek. <clears throat> Derek Carr having a really good game, 29 for 32, 288 yards, a touchdown, zero picks. Amari Cooper getting 10 receptions for 116 yards. Seth Roberts, 3 receptions, 43 yards, and a touchdown. Martavis Bryant and Jordy Nelson getting in on the action as well. Um, same with Jared Cook, Keith Smith, Derek Carrier. And we got Doug Martin. Seven carries for 24 yards. Marshawn Lynch, 18 carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown. Now let's look at the Broncos offense. Case Keenum, 222 yards, zero touchdowns, one pick. But he also had three carries for 16 yards and a touchdown. Phillip Lindsay, 14 carries and 107 yards for the rookie. Also getting a reception and four yards. Then we look at their other rookie running back, Royce Freeman getting 8 carries, 28 yards, and a touchdown. None of the receivers really did anything noticeable besides Emmanuel Sanders getting 4 receptions for 96 yards, but he was targeted 11 times in this game. Now on the defense, Maurice Hurst, the rookie with a sack, and Rashawn Melvin with a pick. I really like this Raiders defense. They played pretty good. To hear Whitehead with five tackles, Leon Hall with five tackles, and Marcus Gilchrist with four. Then we go to the Broncos defense, which I thought would play a little better. Tremaine Brock getting five tackles, Todd Davis with five tackles, Von Miller with a sack, and Justin Simmons with eight tackles. NFL refs were absolutely horrible, and they ruined this game for me. I did have the Vikings winning, but the Green Bay Packers had the game won. But the refs had so many terrible calls that the game ended in a tie, 29-29. This was just an absolutely horrible game. And I'm not really going to get too much into the details, just because of how bad this game was. The Packers' defense played amazing, in my opinion, and their offense, their offensive line played like they were the best line in the NFL. Really surprising game, in my opinion. But, of course, the game ended in a tie, and it should have been a Packers win. A really interesting game. The Jaguars just smushed the Patriots 31-20. The Jaguars had control the whole game. I had a feeling this would happen, but I thought maybe the Patriots learned from last year in the conference championship game and would have, I don't know, game planned a little better. This was just a poorly played game. Not for Tom Brady though, as he had 234 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. The running game, not really impressing me here. Sony Michelle, the rookie, getting 10 carries, 34 yards, one reception, and seven yards. Rex Burkhead and James White got some carries as well. James White also getting 7 receptions for 73 yards. Chris Hogan getting 2 receiving touchdowns. Then when we look at the Jaguars, Blake Bortles, 377 yards, 4 touchdowns and 1 pick. Also getting 6 carries for 35 yards. Looking like an elite quarterback out there. TJ Yeldon had a really good game. 10 carries for 58 yards. 
two receptions for 13 yards. Corey Grant, the backup running back, third string running back, I should say, six receptions for 56 yards, four carries for 13 yards. Keelan Cole had an, had an amazing game, seven receptions, 116 yards, and a touchdown. Dante Moncrief, Austin Zephorian Jenkins, and D.D. Westbrook all getting a receiving touchdown as well. Then we look at the defense. Malcolm Brown getting five tackles. Kyle Van Noy with five tackles. Jason McCourty with five tackles. Stefan Gilmore with five tackles. Then we have Duran Harmon with a fumble recovery. Stefan Gilmore with a forced fumble and Trey Flowers with a forced fumble. And then we look at the Jaguars defense. Dante Fowler had a sack and a forced fumble. DJ Hayden had a sack. Telvin Smith had seven tackles and Ronnie Harrison, the rookie, had seven tackles. The Dolphins won 20 to 12, really surprising fashion as well as the Dolphins just dominated the whole game. Um, Ryan Tannehill, playing amazing. 17 for 23, 168 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Also getting eight carries for 44 yards. Kenyon Drake playing really good, getting 53 yards and a touchdown. Frank Gore getting 25 yards and 19 receiving yards. Then we look at the Jets offense. Sam Darnold had an okay game. 334 yards, one touchdown, and two picks. Bilo Powell played was a real good factor in the receiving game. Quincy Anunwa and Terrell Pryor had good games as well. Now we'll look at the defenses. William Hayes with a sack. Kiko Alonso, 13 tackles and two forced fumbles. Then you had Jordan Phillips and Jordan and Robert Quinn, each with a sack. AJ, or whoops, Raquan McMillan with a fumble recovery, and TJ McDonald with an interception, and Xavier Howard with an interception. The Miami, this Miami Dolphins team is a lot better than a lot of people thought, especially me. I was really sleeping on the Dolphins this season. Um, Look at the Jets defense, Jamal Adams, Henry Anderson, Brandon Copeland, Jordan Jenkins all getting a sack in this one. Jamal Adams also getting a forced fumble. Jordan Jenkins getting a forced fumble, getting a forced fumble and fumble recovery as well. Then we got Christopher Herndon getting a fumble recovery. Avery Williamson getting a fumble recovery. And Buster Scrine getting six tackles and Leonard Williams getting five tackles. This is a really surprising game to me. I did not expect the Dolphins to absolutely dominate in this one. Absolute shocker as well. As the Titans pulled out a 20 to 17 win. Deshaun Watson playing amazing, 310 yards, two touchdowns and a pick with 44 rushing yards. Will Fuller, 8 receptions, 113 yards and a touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 6 receptions, 110 yards and a touchdown. And then we look at the Titans offense. Blaine Gabbert, really surprising me. 13 for 20, 117 yards and 1 touchdown. Then Tennessee had some trick plays. Derrick Henry, the running back, throwing 1 for 1, 8 for 8 yards. Then you had Kevin Byard throwing one for one, 66 yards and a touchdown. Insane. Dane Krukshank was on that 66 yard touchdown reception. Taewon Taylor had a touchdown reception as well. Derrick Henry had a pretty good game rushing it. 18 carries for 56 yards. Deion Lewis also had a receiving touchdown. Or no he didn't. My bad, one reception for one yard. I thought I saw a touchdown. Then we have Duke. This is for the Texans defense. Duke Ishio four with a sack. And then we have JJ Watt, four tackles and a forced fumble. 
DJ Reader with two tackles, Justin Reed, the rookie, with four, and Zach Cunningham with six. Then look at the Titans' defense. Jarrell Casey, four tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble. Kevin Byard and Malcolm Butler each getting seven tackles. Kamala Correa with a sack. Adoree Jackson, six tackles, and an interception. Just a great game by the Titans. Also, Logan Ryan getting a sack. But their offense is what surprised me the most. This was an amazing one. What can I say? It was a shootout. The Chiefs winning 42-37. to Absolute amazing game. And we have Patrick Mahomes, the young quarterback, throwing 23 for 28, 326 yards, 6 touchdowns, and no picks. Um, this guy is the next great. What can I say? He is amazing. I'm a huge fan of Patrick Mahomes already. Now we have Kareem Hunt getting 18 carries for 75 yards. One reception for 5 yards and a touchdown. Sammy Watkins getting 1 carry for 31 yards. 6 receptions for 100 yards. Travis Kelsey getting 7 receptions, 109 yards and 2 touchdowns. Tyreek Hill having a great game. 90 yards and a touchdown. Conley and Robinson also getting a receiving touchdown. Then we look at the Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger, 60 attempts, 452 yards, 3 touchdowns, and no picks. He also had a rushing touchdown in this one. James Conner, not getting as much carries as he did in week 1. 8 carries, 17 yards, and a touchdown with 5 receptions for 48 yards. Jesse James, a tight end, playing amazing. 5 receptions, 138 yards, and a touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, 13 receptions. 121 yards and a touchdown. Antonio Brown playing amazing like usual. And James Washington getting a receiving touchdown. Then when we look at the defenses. Allen Bailey getting a sack. And then we have a fumble recovery <coughs> by... <coughs> oh my god, I can't speak right now. Never mind, no fumble recovery. Seven tackles by Anthony Hitchens. Six tackles by Kendall Fuller. Five by Eric Murray. Then we go look at the Steelers defense. We have a forced fumble forced fumble by Cameron Hayward. And then a fumble recovery by Anthony Chiquillo. We also got a forced fumble by Cameron Sutton. And we have the leader in tackles in this team was Vince Williams with four. TJ Watt, after exploding in week one, only getting a tackle here in week two. Daniel McCullers getting a sack. And this is just an amazing shootout. Great offensive game. I would have loved to see Le'Veon Bell in there, though. Rams blow them out of the water. 34 to nothing. Um, just, I don't really know what to think of this game. Just... The Rams are so good, but I don't know why the Cardinals are so bad. David Johnson still struggling. Chase Edmonds having a okay game. Sam Bradford playing terrible. Well, not playing terrible, but playing bad. Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, just this Cardinals offense is really not playing as good as they should. They have the talent there. I just don't understand this. Then we have Jared Goff. 354 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Todd Gurley, MVP candidate. 19 carries for 42 yards. Not very impressive, right? Punched in three touchdowns as well. Three receptions and 31 yards to add to that. Seven receptions for 159 yards for Cooks. And this whole receiving core did good. Tyler Higby with a receiving touchdown. Then we look at the defenses. Buda Baker, one of my favorite defensive players on the Cardinals, getting four tackles. And we have Antoine Bethea with seven. Benson Mayoa, six tackles and two sacks. And Patrick Peterson getting six tackles and an interception. Then we look at the Rams defense, the star-studded team. Sam Shields getting an interception. Sam Shields coming back.
and he got an interception in this one. Samson Ibukam with a sack. Um, Nicole Roby Coleman with three tackles. John Johnson with six. Aaron Donald with four. Really good game here. 49ers. The 49ers were just dominating the Lions the whole game until the fourth quarter when the Lions put up 14 points and the end score was 30 to 27. Just a crazy game. And look at the offensives. Matthew Stafford getting 53 passing attempts, 347 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Carrion Johnson and LeGarrette Blunt each getting eight carries. But Carrion Johnson getting 43 yards while Blunt only getting 38. Golden Tate had a great game. Kenny Galladay, 89 yards and a touchdown. Marvin Jones with a touchdown and Michael Roberts with a touchdown. Then, for the 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo, 206 yards, two touchdowns, no pick, getting sacked six times. Matt Breda, 11 carries, 138 yards and a touchdown with three receptions of 21 yards. Matt Breda played like a pro bowler. It was insane. Garrett Selleck getting a receiving touchdown and Kendrick Bourne getting a receiving touchdown. And when we look at the defenses, Jared Davis, the young linebacker, getting five tackles and two sacks. Eli Harold with a sack, Christian Jones with a sack, and Devin Kennard with two sacks. Just a great game played by the Lions defense. And we look at the 49ers. DeForest Buckner getting five tackles and a sack. Elijah Lee, ten tackles. One forced fumble and a sack. I don't know who Elijah Lee is, but I'm about to find out. Fred Warner also getting eight tackles. This was an amazing game. The Buccaneers beating the Eagles 27-21. to And Ryan Fitzpatrick, a.k.a. Ryan Fitzmagic. He's going to be the new MVP. 27 for 33 throwing, 402 yards, 4 touchdowns, and 1 pick. Just crazy. Deshaun Jackson had an amazing game. Really, the whole receiving core did their jobs. Then we look at the Eagles. Nick Foles didn't have a terrible game. 35 for 48, 334 yards, 1 touchdown, no interceptions. Corey Clement getting 6 carries for 30 yards and a touchdown. Jay Ajahi with a touchdown. Then we look at the defenses. Nigel Bradham with a sack. Fletcher Cox with a sack. Ronald Darby with an eight tackles and an interception. Malcolm Jenkins with a forced fumble. Jordan Hicks, six tackles and a fumble recovery. The Eagles' defense did their job. It's just the Buccaneers are really good this year. And they prove that here. Quan Alexander with a sack and forced fumble. Levante David with a fumble recovery. And Carlton Davis with a fumble recovery. And both David and Davis had six tackles each. Quan Alexander had six tackles. And Jason Pierre Paul getting five tackles and a sack. Jer and Gerald McCoy getting a sack as well. Just a really good game. Um, both defenses are really good. And both offenses are amazing as well. And the Colts absolutely blew these guys out of the water, 21 to nine. Andrew Luck, 179 yards, two touchdowns and two picks. T.Y. Hilton with a touchdown. Eric Ebron with a touchdown. And Alex Smith had an okay game, getting 292 yards and 14 rushing, but he got sacked three times and fumbled it. Adrian Peterson having a bad game, 11 carries for 20 yards. But he did get three receptions for 30 yards. Chris Thompson, the backup running back, basically a receiver in this one. Thir 13 receptions for 92 yards. Then we have Darius Leonard on the Colts. Getting 15 tackles and a sack with a forced fumble. Darius Leonard, just an absolute animal. Jabal Sheard also got a sack. And Jihad Ward getting a sack. And Pierre Desir with a fumble recovery. 
Then we look at the Redskins defense. Not much is happening. Matthew Ayadoanis with a sack. Then DJ Swearinger. Three tackles and two picks. He had a great game. And that's about it. Um, Mason Foster around ten tackles. Um, but the Colts just shocked me in this one. Bears beat them 24-17. This was a great game. Russell Wilson getting 226 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. And then Mitchell Trubisky, 200 yards, two touchdowns and two picks. And we look at the defenses. The Seahawks defense. Frank Clark with a sack and Michael Kendricks getting a sack. You also have Bradley McDougal getting eight tackles, Akeem King getting five, and then Earl Thomas with four. Then we look at the Bears defense, which is just absolutely amazing this year. I love the Bears defense. Prince Amu Kamara, four tackles, an interception, and a touchdown. You got Eddie Goldman with a sack, Eddie Jackson with a sack, and a forced fumble. Khalil Mack, four tackles, a sack, and a forced fumble. Aaron Lynch with a sack, and Danny Trevathan, six tackles, a forced fumble, and two sacks. Leonard Floyd getting a fumble recovery. This Bears defense is just so good. <clears throat> the Bears defense is basically the reason why they won. And the Bears running game didn't really impress me as much, but Trubisky and the defense played really well. Especially the defense, more than Trubisky. Saints ended up winning this one 21 to 18. But here's the thing. The Browns had a chance to win it. They missed the extra point attempt and they missed the game winning field goal. They had four points at the end there that they missed. And their kicker has a groin injury and that is why he missed those points. Otherwise the Browns would have won this game. But the Saints scored 18 points in the fourth quarter. The reason they won 21 to 18 just a crazy game. Insane finish. Tyrod Taylor playing good. 22 for 30. 246 yards. One touchdown. One interception. With 26 rushing yards. Carlos Hyde doing his job with a rushing touchdown. Antonio Callaway playing really good. Three receptions. 81 yards and a touchdown. Jarvis Landry doing his job. Then we have Drew Brees. 243 yards. Two touchdowns. No picks. Michael Thomas, 12 receptions, 89 yards, and two touchdowns. Then we're going to look at the defenses here. The Browns defense, TJ Carey getting six tackles and a sack. We also got Terrence Mitchell with five tackles and two forced fumbles. Larry Uganjobi with two sacks. Then we got Demarius Randall with four tackles and a fumble recovery. Joe Schobert having a great game as well. Same with Denzel Ward. Then the Saints defense. Von Bell getting five tackles. A.J. Klein racking up the tackles. Cameron Jordan getting two sacks. Sheldon Rankins getting a sack. Then we have Demario Davis with a forced fumble. And Marshawn Lattimore with a forced fumble. No one getting any fumble recoveries though off of those, <clears throat> off of those turnovers.